All right, so I figured that I would make a video um, explaining um, the difference between the decks of the e volt and the in body. Um, I had the in body done January 3rd and the decks are done January 3rd. And then yesterday, March 20th, I had the um, e volt done and the decks are done. Uh, the in-body no longer exists at the gym, so I couldn't do the in-body again. Um, and I like to apologize in the video is that because of the medicine that I take, uh, I have really dry mouth. So if you see me making weird faces, my bad. So everybody knows that, or everyone should know, that the DEXA scan is like the gold standard of um, body composition because it uses x-ray um, or like a light amount of x-ray in order to actually scan your body and figure out the composition. The e-volt and the in-body are okay for use. Um, they are um, nowhere near as accurate, even though they try to tell you, they're like, oh yeah, they're 99% accurate. Well, the math doesn't math. Uh, but if you were always to use one, just like anything else, um, you could use a, uh, hey, my body fat today on the in body is 18%. A month from now, my body fat is 15%. You can use it for that. The percentage is incorrect, but dropping 3% period across there makes sense. Okay, so DEXA versus in body back in January. DEXA, body fat, 22%, 43 pounds. In body, 18% fat, 35 pounds. So you can see right there that there's a 4% difference in the body fat, okay? Lean mass, DEXA, 74%, 145 pounds. In body, 81%, 159 pounds. That is a 7% difference and 14.6 pounds. So the in body thinks I have way more muscle and way less fat. Um, the in body just gives you that and then that's it. So. The DEXA gave me visceral fat at two pounds, uh, and that's the fat around your organs. Bone mineral estimation of 7.22 pounds uh, with a weight of 195 pounds, okay? Um, fast forward to March 20th. DEXA, body fat, 23%, 47 pounds. Evolt, 16.4%, 32.8 pounds, okay? That's a 6.8% difference in body fat and 14.2 pounds. Lean mass, 73% and 146 pounds on the DEXA, 83% and 166 pounds on the EVOLT. That is a difference of 10% and over 20 pounds. Visceral fat, 1.49 pounds, which means I lost a half a pound of visceral fat, even though I gained a ton of body fat since last time. So that's good. Visceral fat is very bad. You want to be at like 0.6 to 0.8 pounds at the most. Um, the E-Volt said 4.2 pounds. That is a 2.71 pound difference. If I had 4.2 pounds of visceral fat, I need to be hitting the gym hard. That's a lot. Um, bone mineral estimation, 7.17 pounds. So according to this, I lost a... 0.05 pounds of bone mineral density, estimated. Um, Evolt, 11.7 pounds. That is almost five pound difference in bone mass density estimation. Weight, 200 pounds on the DEXA, 199.7 pounds on the Evolt. So based on that, the Evolt, which is supposed to be better than the end body or they claim, is actually worse than the end body for variation difference, okay? The DEXA is still the way to go. It costs a hundred dollars every time you do it, unlike the one at your gym, which is free. But um, the DEXA is accurate. The DEXA is extremely accurate. They say that the only thing that's more accurate is like a CT MRI scan, which obviously uses way more radiation, um, and you don't want to do that uh, to your body. Um, so with that being said, you know, I gained five pounds. Um, looks like I gained, according to this, I gained four pounds of fat. 
I gained one pound of muscle and I lost a half pound of visceral fat. Uh, my body, eventually by doing these scans, you'll know your body. My body typically for every pound of muscle I gain, I typically gain two pounds of fat. That's just how my body has always been. Um, obviously diet can change that exercise can change that. Uh, but when I'm trying to put on muscle, I'm not hitting the body fat portion of exercising as hard, uh, because, you know, when it comes to bulking, you can bulk and cut at the same time. It's just extremely hard. So I'd rather hit the bulking harder and then get where I want to be, keep the protein high and then start cutting down. So with that being said, again, I highly recommend the DEX scan or DEXA scan. Uh, but what I would do is I would go in today, get a DEXA scan, go to your gym and get whatever scan your gym has um, and um, figure out the difference. And then for the next few months, as you're trying to figure out your weight journey, loss or gain or whatever, um, you can know what the variation is based on the differences from your first scan before you go and scan again. So just for that reason, I'm going to, I got this freaking scale here, which I don't know where the button is. I'm going to step, I got one of them in-home scales that absolutely sucks. So let's stand on it and see what it says my body fat is. So I'm 200.2 pounds. I forgot how to go to the body fat screen. So maybe, um, <clears throat> there we go. Let's try this again. Two hundred point two pounds. Calculating, calculating, calculating. Thirty one percent BMI, thirty four percent body fat, and thirty two percent water. And I have no idea what that last number was. So that says I'm ten percent fatter than I actually am. So the house scales. Definitely a no. Um, with that being said, when you do go in and get these scans done, you do not want to work out, eat, or drink anything other than water before going in for a minimum of two and a half hours. Um, me personally, I would schedule it right away in the morning and uh, do it technically after or before you break your fast. Um, because there can be a huge difference based on what I just mentioned. Do I know why? No. Do other people know why? Probably not. A lot of the information regarding what this does and what it doesn't do is very difficult to get. Um, one of the big things that I personally would like to know is that um, it basically what we found out was that the E-Volt and the in-body has marked some of my body fat as, mus as muscle. So what I would like to know if someone knows or can figure out how to research to find out is what exactly causes the scanner to target some of the fat as muscle. I know I have more body fat. Uh, when you look at the x-rays and I'll, maybe I'll attach them to the end of this video. When you look at the x-rays from the in-body scan from the first one to the second one, the red in the middle area where the visceral is has gone away or has gone down, which shows the half pound of fat loss around the organs. But what you'll see is on my back, right on the back side of my traps are bright red now, showing that I put some fat on, on my upper back, which is a weird place, but whatever. Um, I didn't gain any fat around the midsection. My midsection is smaller somehow. Not really sure how that works, but again, whatever. We're gonna continue to make videos about workout related stuff. Uh, going forward, but that is my two cents on these scans as I've had them done. And in three months, I will have the DEXA done again. Um, in between, for the next couple months, I will have the E-Volt done at the gym just to see where the changes in body are. Originally, when I saw that I was like 16% body fat, I was like, hell yeah, I'm losing body fat. 
my body fat went from 22.1% to 23.2%. And the funny part is, when I got the last scan, I was eating 6,000 calories a day. Right now, between two and 3,000. So I have cut my food intake in half and I've gotten fatter.